Hi there, it's me Expion. So it's been a long time since seeing you again. So for this video, I'm going to encounter the seven stars Typhlosion, and let's see, will we be able to beat it? So without further ado, let's check it out. And here we are at the Black Crystal Terror Rift. So for this battle, I'm going to use Iron Jugulis because on paper, Iron Jugulis seems like a great counter for this Typhlosion, especially. It resists the ghost terra typing and the ghost type moves from Typhlosion. Okay, let's see how well Iron Jugulis is as a counter for this rig. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the flips go crazy. Why is the flame so crazy on Typhlosion? Nice, we have Tauros, you get so intimidate. Help to reduce the physical attack. Of Typhlosion. Okay, so for the first move, I'm going to start with Town. Why Town? Uh, I wanted to prevent Typhlosion from what is it? using its Sunny Day. Ooh, my. Oh my! The eruption hurts a lot. Okay, so I'm going to snap to reduce its special attack. So, so far so good, but I think Iron Jugulis could tank the attack very well and also deal pretty good amount of damage, but the timer is worrying for me. Ooh, very rough. Definitely hurts. Okay, it couldn't move because of Paralyzed. Mm, the timer! Oh no! I don't think we could make it. Okay, so as you can see, even though we start off pretty great, Erenjuku still couldn't beat Typhlosion. It's all because of the timer. Uh, we couldn't deal massive amount of damage before the timer runs out. Okay, so now I'm going to try to use Unhilip, which turned out to be uh, a hidden ace in the Samurot Terra Raid uh, before. So let's try. So, hmm, will Anhilip be another hidden ace for this battle? Because Anhilip's ghost typing is also a great counter and it will deal super effective damage against Typhlosion's ghost. Oops, wrong button. Uh, against the Typhlosion's Ghost Terra Type 2 but the Shadow Bull will now definitely hurt more to Anihilip than to Iron Jubilees okay we get us Intimidate so let's use Screech first Ooh, that hurts so much okay, let's reduce the defense stat by 2 okay, so because we don't have time, it's going to use Sunny Day. So I think another scratch is fine. So it should be at minus four defense. Ooh, it couldn't move. Awesome. Wait. Oh, okay. I forgot. It's going to debuff our team at the third turn. Okay, another scratch. Come on, Hilip. Okay, minus six at Typhlosion. So, it is actually, I'm getting very lucky because uh, it got paralyzed and I could uh, put down another scratch. Okay, so now we faint. And for an Hilip, it's actually fine if you faint. Why? Because uh, the more damage an Hilip got dealt, uh, the more hard Rage Fist will hit. And in Terra Raid, even though if you faint, it will not reset the damage taken. So, this is actually pretty good. How much will Terra Fusion deal? Ooh, <laughs> that hurts a lot. Okay, time for our Rage Fist. 
Awesome. So a super effective bridge this. Oh yeah, and it's also because my body is at minus six. Okay, another train. Okay. So now we're at, we have painted two times. And this is fine because as you can see, just get the power of rage fish. Okay, let's see how much damage uh, this rage fish will do. Now. Another sunny day. Okay. Okay, rage fish. One more time. Okay, this is the eruption. Eruption always hurt a lot. Okay, let's see, let's see. Awesome. Yeah. Do we fail? Oh no. Okay, we don't fail. This is nice. Oh no. I was thinking of landing one more rage fish so we can turn still as the next turn. Okay. So the next rage fish will break the shield, okay. Okay, we're still in a pretty good position right now. Because we're using unhealing, which will deal more damage. The more damage it takes. Oh, and shoot. From our, uh, what it, from our friends, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so now no, no more need for scripts, we're just rich fish. <laughs> Let's start slice right now to, fu to further increase the damage and probably end this fight in one one more hit from rich fish. So for any lip. Uh, just go for the ghost era type because ghost is super effective against ghost and it also further boosts the power of rage fish will it be will this be the end of my solution oh no so just a small bit okay, as long as we don't train here okay wait what <laughs> Wait. What happened? It uses eruption, but the damage isn't going to be counted. I mean, I'll take it, but it's so strange. And there we go. It's how we beat. Typhlosion I'm still pretty shocked How do we manage to survive that? Eruption! Because the damage from Shadow Ball has already decreased our health to 137, right? Why is the eruption... Why, is the... Why does the eruption dealt no damage? This is strange but I'll take it. So this is the reward for Typhlosion. XP Candy. Ghost Terra Shot 30. Okay. TM 114. Mouth Min Ability Pass PP Up. Rare Candy and another Terra Shot. Okay. Okay, so what is TM 114? Oh, Shadow Ball. Okay, I see. Okay, pretty awesome bro. And also, oh yeah. So this is the build for Unhealip. So I think I don't need to show the Iron Juglis because uh, Iron Juglis couldn't defeat the Typhlosion. So here it is. Let's check the summary. So health item Shell Bell with the Ghost Terra type and also at level 100. And for the movesets it's going to be Rage Fist and Screech. Poke Up and Drain Punch is only there to fill 4. So the ability I'm going to use Inner Focus. And also for the EV train, don't forget to EV train in HP and attack. So full HP and full EV train attack. And also for the hyper train, 
it doesn't show here but I hypertense in HP special uh, HP attack defense special defense and also speed so for the nature uh, in this one I use the I haven't changed it from naughty and I think the good one will be adamant because it will increase your the, your attack while using special attack which is not used by Anhilip and also keeping the special defense pretty good to tank Typhlo shit and oh yeah before I forget so because I've been on a break for two weeks there's going to be another video coming up not long and soon after this video is up so stay tuned and in order for you not to skip this upcoming video um you could side beam that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video and with that that's how you beat typhlosion and oh yeah i forgot another fact so this typhlosion will have a unique mark uh, which is not present in the other seven star pokemon terrorly so yeah, as usual the seven star will have the mightiest mark but the seven will have another unique mark so let's see what it is okay so for uh, an, uh the unique mark that the, the star fusion could get first we need to travel to mesagoza west and then from the poke center just go straight to this uh, central garden and talk to this npc yes so now we're going to give the typhlosion for the npc to check let's see here now this is a tiny pokemon wow you almost never see one this little this might just be the world's smallest typhlosion this is a mark and there it is there it is this is a secret mark for typhlosion the tiniest mark as you can see here we have the mightiest mark and also the mini mark typhlosion the teeny yeah and that's the secret or uh, the unique mark that typhlosion has that no other seven star pokemon target has and with that thank you for watching and see you when i see you